Hello, this is a brief note about how to obtain graphic weather map images by email request. And this is uh, typically done at sea using your satellite phone or SSB radio to uh, ask for these files by email. You could do it on land, of course, but on land you may use the internet and go directly with other sources. And we have, over the years, here at Starpath, created several resources which are free downloads. They're interactive PDFs. There will be links to each of these in the description to the video. And they do all the work, uh, all the work for you. Uh, there are various places online that discuss the uh, uh, discuss these procedures, and in one of the links at the end here, we also uh, summarize those. But once you get the maps, then let me recommend uh, just briefly our textbook. This is this is a book. There is a section in here about how to get these maps, but you're going to learn all of that in the next couple minutes about uh, what I'm showing, and you don't really need to know more than that about getting the maps. Again, there are all sorts of products available by email request and other means, other texts and various things, grib files. But for now, we're talking about just graphic vi images of weather maps. So we have this textbook that's going to tell us how to use that data once we get it. So here's the textbook and a link to that. Plus, don't forget, take a quick look at this support page, which is a list of its updates or news related to the book. But if you're just browsing around, it's also a uh, resource for uh, modern references on uh, marine weather. Okay, so let's get started. And we made this a page. This is an interactive PDF. I'll show first the Atlantic and do that a little bit, and then come back and show the Pacific. We, the Atlantic and Pacific are symmetric. And this shows basically a, vi a little thumbnail of all the types of weather maps that are weather map images that are available and they're put together in some I'd like to think organized manner and that you can decide that by looking at it and so it shows what the maps are it shows when they're updated and it shows how big the file sizes are and now to get one of them for example you have two ways we have uh, okay getting weather maps by email there's two basic ways to do it there's ftp mail where we ask for it directly from the government with a particular type of email or we ask for sale docs and we use sale docs a wonderful service of sale docs been available for many many years a standard throughout the world used by uh, many mariners and in most cases at sea you'll find the sale docs is, a, is maybe a better way to go on top of that, the sail docks on these weather maps that we're dealing with now, um, they reduce the file size. The government issued the, these that we get with FTP mail request. We get the same maps, but they're the full size. And we don't need that big a size, so the sail docks route is usually the best bet. But we can, we can take a look at both and see. If you're on land, you would use probably the one with the higher resolution. Uh, and then here's one combined. This means combined. This, the surface of the, both the Atlantic and Pacific is divided in half. So there's a part one and a part two. Or you could take a, just a quick look at part, uh, you know, quick look at part two on the internet. That just looks like that. Uh, or now we could say this half over here. And again, that's true with, with, true with all these maps. There's, you have both kinds of links. And then you have here requests from sale, uh, re well, if they request from sale docs so you click that and that creates an email that looks like this and so our program is sending the right so it, it, you send an email to query at sale docs and for whatever we're doing here we're always sending a request for the latest version of that map the maps are updated every four hours so there's new ones every four hours in most cases uh, but this is always asking for the latest. Now you could probably get by with just sending this like this. It's a little better, I would say, clean that up and just send that. Certainly, if you got HTML or pictures or graphics or anything down here, be sure to clean that up. Now, and you might put here, this is like a surface, uh, surface uh, analysis, surface analysis um, and uh, late, latest, say. Okay, now the reason I do that is then you can go back in your email and just say send again. And you don't have to click anything. You say send again and it'll always get you the latest. Keeping in mind that they're updated every six hours and, there are, and they are about four hours late. Uh, three to four hours late. What's this say here? 
This says two to three hours, uh, but I, uh, you have to check that, check that. Okay, then you just send that email, and then what happens is you will get um, an email back. Let me see where I put those. Um, I think I hit it. Uh, okay, let me pause a second. Okay, actually, I had deleted it. So I just looked at the one that I just now got. So your mail coming back looks like that. And so here's the map that looks, it looks like that when, when the email comes back. And then, and the file sizes are written down there. And then we could also look from the internet and you click that. And that's going to be this TIFF, uh, the P11 TIFF. And that looks like this one. Oh, wait a minute, cancel. I think I have that picture right. Wait a minute, cancel. I have that picture right here. Okay, so here's here's what it looks like when you download from the internet. Here's what it looks like when you get it from the uh, PD, uh, ask for with the sale doc. Both of them, they come in sideways, but you can, depending on what computer type you're using, see, I can, uh, well, first of all, let me open this. And again, it depends on what email you're using, but I, in a Mac, I can just click it and it opens it. And then I can I can look at the rotation here. I need to rotate it that way. Uh, oh, rotate it that way. Okay. And this one, uh, rotate it that way. So those are the two, you know, you see one is uh, bigger than the other, but this is plenty legible, plenty legible to read. So that's, that's uh, getting those two. And all of these uh, cancel, uh, cancel. So all of the, uh, don't cancel, don't save, delete, copy. Okay, so all of these maps on this pic, on this image, you can get that way, and uh, they behave the same way. Uh, then you can likewise go here to the, um, Pacific, and I'm not going to, it's all the same, it's symmetric. And so you go through here, and then there is a link, I think somewhere here, there's a blog post that describes a little bit more about how we did this, but that doesn't matter, that's how, interactively how it works. Okay, so that's the first part, getting this type of, we have uh, this type of uh, uh, weather map. We can also do it with images, and again, this is a PDF that's in the back, of, in, the, in the description. And it, it, it's outlining the uh, the uh, both methods here, which I'll come back to uh, back in the back at two in a moment in a moment. But this is first of all, and this is talking about now again. This is not really a weather map, but it's the same format. So I'm just putting it in here with it. First of all, we've created this unique and I'd like to think valuable picture that shows you what regions are available as satellite images. Now, the satellite images that you can request by email. There's many other satellite images available online, some in remarkable high resolution and so forth, but those are um, mostly for when you're online. These are the outlines of the files you can actually request with email and they're manageable size files and so forth. And so that's that. Then what we do in this document document. Again, when you download as a PDF, put it on your computer with the other two, and then you just click the thing to get to send the email. If you are underway, then you have to coordinate your computer so that it sends the email in the way you want, or you have to cut and paste some things. You can, t okay, I'll let that special subject go. Then, then what we do is just go through each of these areas, P1, P2, whatever, P3, and show you samples of what they look like, including, for example, here are the file names that we need, the file names for the different uh, uh, Greenwich Mean Time uh, images. And the most recent is always at the bottom, and, uh, and that one is a uh, live link. For, for example, this one. And then again, that PDF, you'll click it and it'll bring open in your, um, in your internet. This is with your internet, the live link. We'll have to show you in a moment how you get these. Uh, you can, okay. But this is showing what's available and how to get them online. So this, this page here is actually online, but it's uh, showing about the weather maps. Now let's come to this, like the crux of everything here. This is another PDF that's in the description, 
and it shows you the way that you request these files. And what this is, this document is a long list of file names. That's all it is, is file names. But when you request this by FTP mail or by sale docs, the file name is all you need to know. All you need to know. And so here is that method. And again, it's showing requests. In each case, it's requesting two maps, two images, but you could request just one or you could request four or five. These come back as separate mails. Uh, I think they both come back as separate mails actually. Uh, again, these are reduced by 50%, which is usually uh, all we need. So there's your instructions on how to do it. And then you would just have this, uh, have an index, let's say you want uh, Pacific surface charts, you click that and you're down here. And these are the file names that you want, including an indication of the, of the most current, like that. And let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, that's it. That's all there is to it. So that's showing, and and those uh, and these uh, images for the satellites are they here too? Yeah, Atlantic satellite imagery. You see those those files are there as well. Okay, so that's basically all I want to say. I forgot one thing. Back to this satellite imagery. We also have something valuable at the very bottom of that PDF that you can download, it shows when these uh, satellite images are updated. This is also a valuable information. All right, that's a quick blast through the ways. It's very simple. These are the ways we download weather maps at sea with an email request. And it's often, <clears throat> excuse me, it's often valuable to look at these weather maps, these graphic weather maps, because they represent the work of human, for the most part, for human uh, meteorologists. It's not just a presentation of a grid file or a, or a numerical model. So we often learn more, we see where the fronts are, and things like that.